Hey guys, it's Fallen Zion from Ebex Bird Guides and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the micro warp cloak trick. And I'm going to try to perform it successful, successfully for 15 jumps without exploding. I got super lucky today, I wanted to make this video for you and I logged in and I saw this contract right here. Um, it was a pretty juicy contract. It was 20 million for 15 jumps that uh, equals out to about 1.33 million is per jump as you can see on the contract contract was right under 4,000 cubic meters which is really small it's also good so it means you can perform it with like a t1 um, fast faster ship um, they call these yeah so the transport ships these these actually warp a little bit faster we go to the attributes here you can see that they warp at 4.5 uh, au per second so this is only 0.5 under what a frigate warps so they warp almost as fast as a frigate which is great that means we'll get to our destination relatively quickly um so we got a really nice contract here very low collateral as well on only 130 million isk collateral um i've already dropped the uh courier package in my ship we'll take a look at what's inside it's exactly almost 130 million is worth of stuff it looks like this person not to get into their business, but it looks like they're going to be doing an ice mining op in this particular system that we're going to, ESSA. So they must have decided that they want to go ahead and start their ice mining career. And we're going to help them do that by moving their stuff to ESSA for them. And they're going to pay us to do it. They're going to pay us 20 million isk, which is great. Uh, that also means you don't want to spend too much on your ship and your fit. Uh, this whole ship and everything costs 10 million, or about right above 10 million. So that's not too bad. Um, I've went ahead and put inertia stabilizers in the low slots where I didn't need expanded car cargo holds. Uh, these will help me go to warp faster. We don't necessarily need this for the trick, but it, uh, it helps uh, for the way I do it. Um, I'll go through the fit with you really quick. Um, the key components of this fit are the improved cloaking device tech 2. So unfortunately you'll need to be a Omega clone, Omega clone for this, uh, but the uh, tier, but the prototype cloaking device tech one also works, but which you also have to be a mega clone for. So, uh, unfortunately, you have to be a mega clone to perform this trick. But the clo cloaking is probably one of the most powerful things in this game. So, I understand why CCP uh, made it like this. So, since you're already a mega clone, go ahead and get trained for the improved cloaking device. Uh, it looks like it's not that bad of a train, it'll probably take you four days or four or five days. Um, so as for the fit, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up here. All right. As you can see, uh, improved cloaking device tech two in the high slot, a large shield extender for buffer tank, medium shield extender tech two for buffer tank, adaptive invulnerability fill tech two for some added resist in case we do run into some trouble on a gate. Uh, the inertial, st inertial stabilizer to help me go to warp a little bit faster with the trick. It's not necessary, but it's just, it just feels better for me when I when I put these on there. Uh, three expanded t uh, cargo hold tech twos so that we can hold uh, all the stuff that we need to haul. So this since it's 4,000 cubic meters, if we drop one uh, expanded cargo hold, we're not going to have enough space to uh, carry what we need, carry this contract. So we have to have these three loaded in the low slots for this. Um, and sigil is so small and cheap that, you know, it's very it's very efficient at what it does. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna record all 15 jumps so we can practice the micro warp cl cloak trick over and over and over again, because that's what it's gonna take to get used to it. The reason why the micro warp cl uh, cloak trick is so good is because we take advantage of how the server, the server takes work. Uh, if you can stay cloaked and only be cloaked for under two seconds at at any time, the bad guys can't lock you. And if they can't lock you, they can't shoot you and you won't blow up. So it takes a lot of practice. So without lots and so practice a lot without a bunch of expensive loot in your ship before you actually start hauling some decent contracts with some decent loot in them. So um, so the first thing I'm gonna do now that I've got it, the contract accepted. Paid this guy is 130 million in collateral. Uh, the contract was located in Judah, so as soon as I accepted it, I got this box right in my item hanger. So what I what I did is I grabbed the box, dropped it right in my ship. So now we've got our 
uh, courier, we could, they call it the bubble wrap package or whatever. The freight container. So I've got that with this guy's loot in it. So what we're going to do now, and if you haven't watched my video from yesterday, please do, because we we're about to do the insta undock trick to escape from the station without dying. And another little tip, another little tip for you that I did for this, just to make everything run a little smoother, uh, and maybe help me out uh, from not dying, is I went into the settings here, and I went to optimize settings, I optimized for performance, and what this does is it tones down your settings a lot, so it loads all the pixels faster, so you can take actions faster and you won't get bogged down if you have a lower, um, lower setting on your graphics card or you know your graphics card isn't the best ever like mine um, so I like to just tone it down if I'm doing stuff like this um, I highly recommend that you don't uh, carry more than 200 million isk worth of loot in your ship in a tech 1 ship that is uh, I would definitely you know upgrade it to tech 2 as soon as you can the tech 2 variations of this is the pro raider this thing can actually warp wild cloaked so it's almost nearly impossible to gank unless you hit a bubble in no sec or wormhole space uh, so it's very very powerful and it can carry it can carry up to 10,000 cubic meters a maximum so when you can if you're really interested in hauling definitely look into upgrading to the tech 2 variations of the hauling ships they're very 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 powerful all right so uh, we're gonna go ahead and undock and hopefully we won't die we're going to use the instant undock bookmark that I made yesterday and if you didn't catch that um, you can go to my last e video called uh, called uh, how to make an instant undock bookmark in Judah so I'll actually use the one I made yesterday and we'll see you know how good I did all right here we go all right so as soon as you hit undock just let it do its thing and as long as we don't get bumped off the end undock, we should be on our merry way. So don't touch anything as soon as you undock. All you should be doing is right clicking that bookmark and clicking warp to zero. Alright, so we successfully warped away. We did get bumped, so it took us a little second there. So we're kind of safe right now, but we want to go ahead and start aligning to our next uh, destination as soon as possible. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to find our Stargate and click Align. We're going to hit our Cloak first, F1, and then right after that we're going to hit our F2 Micro Warp. And when the Micro Warp gets about 75% of the way, we're going to uncloak right now, and we're going to spam the Warp. warp and then we're gonna go straight into warp after we're cloaked. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna do it a bunch more times so you can see what I'm doing. Looks like our capacitor is pretty good still, so hopefully that'll keep up. But this is, you know, going through parameter, this is really gonna be the test here. Um, so I'm gonna try to focus and try to exp explain uh, what I'm doing here as best I can. So if you're really smart, you'd have a tab called Stargates that only had Stargates on it. Looks like there's not very many uh, tornadoes and stuff out today, so we're in luck. So, all right. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna click Align. As soon as we click Align, we're gonna hit the Cloak button, and then soon after that, we're gonna hit the Micro Warp. As soon as the Micro Warp gets 75%, we're gonna turn off the Cloak, F1, and then we're gonna go to Warp. There it goes. And we're warping at 4.5 AU per second, which is just under frigate speed. So we'll be. So that's why I like these um, smaller hull, uh, T1 hauling ships because they warp really fast. The T2 actually warps at like base speed of like 9 AU per second, so it's like really, really, really good. So you want to try to get in that as soon as you can. Actually, let's look it up while we got a second. Oops.
Okay, base speed of 6.3 AU. It looks like there's not too many baddies here, so we're still in, we're still looking good. So we're gonna do the micro warp, micro warp cloak trick again, just so nobody scans us and sees what we're hauling and all that good stuff. It's all line. Cloak, cloak micro warp. And once the micro warp's at 75%, cloak, put your, uh, hit your cloak and then go to work. Hit your cloak, spam, go to work. The micro warp drive will automatically turn off on its own. And the reason this works is because you only need 75% of your speed, your max speed, to go into warp. So the micro warp drive kind of accelerates you into that 75% that of your max speed. And when you turn it off, um, your max speed, so your max speed uh, goes from, so it's already at like you know 500 meters per meters per second or whatever because since we have our micro warp cloak on, actually it's probably like 400. But as soon as we turn it off, we reach like almost our max velocity without the micro warp drive. You can see that it's 96 meters per second. So we're about probably on like the 80 mil, uh, meters per second range, which is just enough to hit this little dash here, uh, and that's what we need to get to before we can go into warp. So. Click on your Stargate, click Align to, Cloak, Cloak, Micro Warp, and then once we hit 75% of our Micro Warp Drive duration, then we're going to hit a Cloak again, Cloak, Micro Warp, or <laughs> Cloak, hit the Cloak, and then Spam, go to work. Like I said, we got 12 more jumps to do this, so we'll just keep practicing until we get it right. Looks like our capacitor is still pretty good. Uh, sometimes I like to go into my ship and make sure I still have the loot on me. So, so far so good. Uh, you just want to be wary of the .5 system. This uh, .5 system uh, gives the gankers the best chance to get you because it takes longer for the, con for the space police, aka Concord, to come and save you. So that gives them more time to blow your ship up. So click on your Stargate, and once you get good, you can just double click on the Stargate, and you just, you'll start automatically aligning. So we're going to try that this time. Double click, cloak, micro warp drive. Once micro warp drive is 75%, we're going to uh, turn off the cloak and go to warp. Turn off the cloak, go to warp, go to warp, go to warp. All right, see, see, it pretty much does it instantaneously, uh, and I was a little bit uh, late there on turning off my cloak. So, the, so why I like the inertia stabilizer is, is I think it gives me a, like a little bit of a margin of error uh, when I'm turning off my cloak and going to warp. The the uh, capacitor relays, since they don't give you that little bit of like uh, align align time uh, bonus. Uh, sometimes I feel like they, you know they're uh, way less forgiving if you mess up your micro warp cloak. If you have the eye stabs, it kind of just gives you that extra little cushion, to, you know, to mess around with, you know, turning off your cloak. So we're about to go into Nyarja here. So uh, let's let's go for it again. Align, cloak, micro warp, and then I just hold my cursor over the jump key, and then once our micro warp hits 75%. We're going to warp. We're going to warp. We're going to warp. We're going to warp. So yeah, see, see, I was barely decloaked for like, you know, half a second there. That's not enough time for somebody to lock my shit up, ship up, and blow me up. So our capacitor still looks great. Uh, it's doing a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, I think these ships, since they have a, a you know, a nice um, uh, warp speed, they don't take as much capacitor when they go to warp. Um, and another reason for this is because I have like maxed out capacitor scales on this character. He's got a pretty good amount of SP. Uh, let's see how much he's got now. All right, he's got about right under 80 million SP. So um, he's got a good amount of SP to work with. If you are a newer character, you may you may run into some more capacitor uh, problems. And I'll go through which skills you need to um, help your capacitor do a little bit better on these long trips uh, as soon as we get through Nyarja. So a line, cloak, cloak, micro warp. D 
Be club, go to work. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. There it goes. See, that, I was barely decloaked for even like half a second there. And we're already on our way. Pass is looking good. Let's uh, take a look at the skills that we're going to need to make this you know, as smooth as possible. Uh, definitely jump drive operation, 5% reduction in capac capacitor needed for initiating a jump per skill level. So I've got 25% reduction in capacitor. That's probably the main skill that you want to train to five if you're going to be jumping a lot just so you don't have to worry about it. All right, uh, this is a point six system, so we still want to be careful here. I don't see any like too bad of people running around. No. So we're just gonna go on our merry way. Align, cloak, micro warp. So yeah, you gotta hit the cloak as soon as soon after you hit the cloak. Hit the micro warp and then Decloak, go to warp. Decloak, go to warp. And that's it, we're off. And don't worry, I'll probably uh, fast forward through some of these warps uh, tonight for you guys too much. We're hitting the jump uh, button as soon as we decloak so that our ship automatically jumps through the next gate. You might not want to do this if you're in low sec because you want to have a scout going before you um, and telling you if, if everything's clear on the other side of the gate. And this could be your alt, this could be your friend, um, your friend and Eve. I know that's that can be a funny term, but. Um, Make sure it's somebody you trust. I usually just use my alt just so I know for sure that I'm not gonna get ganked. So we're going to Bizaba. So we're gonna align, cloak, micro warp. Wait for the micro warp drive to hit 75%. Right there, decloak, go to warp. Yep, see it's like almost instantaneous. I'm gonna zoom up, I'm gonna zoom in on my ship next time just so you can see. But yeah, I have the graphics all the way down just because it helps the game run a little bit, little bit smoother on my PC, especially when I'm recording. All right, let's go to Tash Mercon. All right, I'm going to zoom in on my ship so you can see exactly what's happening here. All right, align. Cloak, cloak, micro warp. Be cloak, go to warp. So, yep, so ship is decloaking as we're going into warp. So that gives the perpetrator very, very little time to examine what we have inside of our ship or uh, potentially just like suicide gank us. I like to just hang out on the haulers channel when I'm doing hauling stuff. Um, just because it makes sense. I'll uh, try to... Sh I'll show you guys how to get into the hauling channel as well in this video. Uh, the hauling channel is a great resource. Uh, people post contracts for stuff they want moved here. You can get lucky like I did uh, when I first logged on today and get a nice juicy contract with for very little work. Um, it'll feel it'll feel, it'll go by so quick for you guys once you once you learn how to do this micro warp cloak trick. And plus, uh, it was only 15 jumps. Align, cloak, micro warp. Uncloak, go to warp. See, I was like way way late there, but still my my ship. Automat just you know immediately went into warp and that's what you want and I'm and I really you know believe that's the eye stabs uh, inertia stabilizers doing kind of helping me have a little bit of cushion there a little bit of margin of error but yeah I like to just kind of look at contracts see this is kind of like a subpar contract um, it's only paying less than a million is per jump I don't do anything less than a million is per jump 
I'm just kind of, you know, stuck up like that, I guess. I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of career contracts. Um, I've made tons of money doing it. Um, at one point, it, you know, I thought it was going to be like my main career in EVE, but I've thought that about many, many different things in this game. Uh, you kind of just got to find, you know, what what's fun for you at the time, what feels good for you, you know, what, you know, what can you do that's fun that still makes money. It's kind of like real life. So only a few more jumps here, a line, cloak, micro warp. So yeah, that's the sequence. You gotta hit the cloak, and then the micro warp. Then decloak, go to warp. All right, only three more jumps. Align, cloak, back and And I know you guys are gonna get to totally tired of hearing my voice by the time this is over, but you're gonna know how to do the Michael Warp cloak trick. And that's what's important. You're gonna be able to do it with your eyes closed. You're never gonna get ganked in high sec, low sec again. Even if there's a gate camp on the other side of that gate. Yeah, and if there's NPCs, um, like event NPCs, like there were a couple weeks ago, hovering around the gate, don't dally on the gate. Just, you know, get your business done. Just go to Micro Warp Cloak. Line, Cloak, Micro Warp. Cloak, Micro Warp. And yeah, don't panic if this happens. Just wait till it gets to 79%. Turn your cloak off, go to work. So if you could see what happened there, I accidentally turned off my cloak. Actually, I initiated my cloak, or my micro warp drive first, and then I initiated my cloak. So my once I hit my cloak, my micro warp drive also turned off, but it still kept cycling. So I still just waited for the 75% of the cycle to complete, and my cloak was still running. Turned off my cloak, and then at 75%, and then went to warp. So yeah, the best thing you can do is not panic. Uh, it takes a lot of practice to get to that level where you can do it consistently and not panic if you know something goes wrong and you know as a backup plan we always have our handy dandy adaptive and vulnerability field field here so all right last jump guys and then we're headed to the station we're also going to micro warp cloak to the station just to be safe line cloak micro warp that's all there is to it decloak go to warp So we're about one jump away from getting that that dank dank isk, and another happy customer. All right, there's nobody around, so we're, but we're still gonna do a light uh, micro warp cloak because you never know uh, somebody could be cloak waiting for you. Line, cloak, micro warp. Decloak, go to warp, and whenever I'm uh, visiting a station, I like to turn on my adaptive, just in case I land on the station and there's somebody waiting to blow me up, just so I have that extra little uh, layer of protection. And as you can see, um, I have 16,000 effective hit points with my adaptive on, which is pretty dang good considering one of my uh, slots is taken up by micro warp drive. All right, so we're about to dock and deliver this contract. I'll show you how to do that. And ideally, you'll have a instant dock bookmark. And if you want to learn how to do that, I showed you how to do that on my last video as well. So we're going to go to our inventory. We're going to grab this uh, plastic wrapped package out of our inventory, out of our ship uh, inventory, or ship cargo hold, rather. And we're going to drag it into the item hanger. We're going to right click on the package. And we're going to say deliver career contract. 
All right, and that's it. And I'll show you what happened to our wallet balance here. All right, so uh, we gave this guy 100, 100, well, we didn't give it to him. We put 130 million up as collateral in case we didn't deliver this contract on time or deliver it successfully. Either we got ganked, we decided to keep it or what? If this if this uh, pack if this package didn't make it to here in under 24 hours and to make it here safely, he would have gotten 130 million S. So basically, he would have just gotten his money back for what he spent. That was in the package, and, and that's the goal. If you ever see some like really weird collaterals, you could be being set up for a gank or somebody could be trying to do something weird to you. So just keep an eye out for that. If that happens, don't take any more contracts from them, and just keep an eye out for that kind of situation. So as soon as we deliver the contract, which was uh, 21 2211 you can see it's 2212 now we got our collateral back 130 million and she paid us 20 million isk for delivering that contract successfully so uh, she's gonna be a very happy happy customer sometimes I like to send them an email just to let them know that their stuff got here and I link the contract as well so if you want to check out the contract that you just completed you can go to the new common menu here at the top corner go to finance contracts and then we'll go to uh, finish contracts. And we should see our courier here. Yep, there it is. This Gita Essa. So we're gonna say we're gonna pull it up, and we can we can just drag and drop our name into the two folder. And now she. And then I link the contract. Thanks. And now she can be on her merry way to ice mining or whatever she's going to do. And we're 20 million is richer. And I really appreciate you guys watching today. And if you made it to the end, you know, I really appreciate it. Hopefully you're a master of the micro warp cloak trick. And be sure to drop a like if you learn anything new. And subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you very much. Good night.